very athletic, very high flying style of private party. Very straightforward wrestling. But, uh, you know, AYFBO can fly too, but they're just as soon as getting a fight. EYFBO is the most versatile tag team there is, bar none, no exaggeration. Uh, they can fight you, they can fly with you, uh, they can ground and pound with you. However you want to get it done, they can do it. I don't want to, even, even though I don't care for a private party, uh, I have to acknowledge that Mark Quinn is a tag team specialist. We've seen him with a number of partners here, and now he's with his little brother. Well, Mark Quinn does have tag team experience here at House of Glory, of course, the former tag team partner of our world champion right now, Smiley. But he's bringing his little brother along and bringing him into the ropes here, and they're challenging for gold. It's going to be Mark Quinn and Isaiah Kennedy as private... Excuse me, Cassidy. I, 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 can you let me do what I'm doing here? I'm trying. Can you do what you're doing? I'm very much well capable of doing what I'm doing. And, of course, the nasty assassin, Mike Drastic, and, of course, the funky monkey, Angel Ortiz, EYFBO in the red. And Private Party still still throwing paraphernalia into the, into the audience here. You've gotten a hold of his bow tie. I think it looks better on me. You think everything looks better on you? Most things do look better on me. Well, here's the private However, party holding the belts. I think they think that the belts look better on them. No, no, that does not look good on them. That looks better on EYFBO, and they need to... I hope they enjoyed that. That little moment of being able to touch the gold, that 10 pounds of gold, because they'll never do it again, at least not why EYFBO is defending those stra straps. Well, here we go here. We're throwing streamers. And we're getting ready to set here in this tag team matchup. The gold is on the line. I want to bring up a point here that was brought up online at the House of Glory Facebook page. A lot of fans and a lot of talent actually wondering what this new form, uh, 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 this new tag team formed here with Private Party. A lot of people wondering, is this too soon for a world tag team title matchup? What are your thoughts on, on, on that? Uh, I do think that it's too soon, not necessarily for Mark Quinn, but these two as a tag team, as far as I'm concerned. Isaiah Cassidy and Mark Quinn haven't done anything to earn a tag team title shot. And there's a whole bunch of tremendous tag team talent here in House of Glory already. I know a bunch of them feel slighted. There might be some hurt feelings in the locker room, but I tell you this, you can't deny the athleticism, as you're seeing here by Mark Quinn. Can't deny the athleticism. And I guess it goes to the credit of EYFBO for being fighting champions and willing to take on any team for the gold. Uh, it, it's confidence. That's what it is. When you believe you can beat any team, you really don't care who challenges you. It's not like they made the decision. Whoa! However, they should not take Mark Quinn or Isaiah Cassidy lightly. Look uh. at this funky monkey. Oh, into that pin. I was going oh. to hold them up, but oh, into the pin situation, yes. No, no, I'm sorry, only two. I really thought he had them. Uh, it was, I had no clue what he was doing from the top rope across the ring, rolled him up, but now oh. he's on the receiving end of a back flipping stop. Well, Mark Quinn is infamous here at House of Glory for having one of the most unpredictable offenses Whoa. that it's ever seen with a kick there. That's what you get. Isaiah Cassidy in there with the real effing deal. And the nasty assassin, Mike Drastic, picks his shot and it connects. It connects like crazy. Look at that. What an exchange there by Kennedy and Drastic. Cassidy. Oh, I'll drag, oh, I'll drag over. <laughs> I like that. Oh, to a lucha style. And to the outside goes Drastic. Cassidy is looking to fly outside. Drastic, very smart, getting out of the way. Mike Drastic is going to try to dictate this pace. He's the veteran in this situation. Oh! Nice drop down there. Oh. Here comes the Funk Man. Or he said he had his back. Looks like he's in just as much trouble. Oh, no, come on, that's just embarrassing. And what a combination! What is happening here between EYFBO and the private party? They love to have a good time. I'm so confused. All right, EYFBO's had enough of this nonsense. 
They're here to fight. You know, and if you ask me, that's one of Mark Quinn's biggest problems. He's always looking for a good time. That's why he hasn't held any championships. Well, I don't know if that's the direct reason here. Oh, what a nice hurricane run of there. Cassidy, front of the outside in, but caught by the nasty assassin. Oh! Took him all the way around. And the kick oh, to the outside. And a Swanton bomb by Cassidy. Quinn for the pin. Will that fall? New tag team champs. Oh, no, only two. Good strength by Mike Drastic, able to kick out while both men, Quinn and Cassidy, were on top of him. Well, I tell you what, if anybody had any questions as to whether or not private parties should be in a tag team title situation, they are proving their worth right now. Absolutely. A lot of mouths are going to be silenced, but they haven't beat EYFBO. They have not beat the champions. The match still goes on. Well, I know there are no moral victories in pro wrestling, but to be able to oh. dance with a team like EYFBO, that's impressive. Quite and drastic are going shot for shot with each other, we're seeing. But I don't know where the tables are. What's Cassidy doing looking at me? Focus on the damn match and maybe you're... Do you know where the tables are? I have no clue. Why would I care where the tables are? This is not a table tag team match. Well, you hear these fans screaming for tables because they're idiots. Well, I'll There's tell you, wrestlers in the ring right I now can, and they don't need tables. I can tell you right now, oh, the tables will probably be cleared out of here after that hor uh, House of Horrors matchup. I'm surprised. We would have had no tables anyway. Everything was used then. See, we have wrestlers in the ring. The Funky Monkey. Look at that! Such talent! Oh, what a, what a drop kick! See, that's what I'm talking team. about, Orson. Why would you need a weapon when you yourself are the weapon? Well, I'll tell you what, private poverty probably got ahead of themselves. They took their eye off the ball, they were in the momentum. Oh, excuse me, they were in the driver's seat. They took their eye off the ball, and that's when the veteran tag team ship of EYFBO comes into play. I may not like their recent attitude change, but I tell you what, they're still one of the best teams in the world right now. Their recent attitude change got them to tag team championships. Oh, what a drop kick by Ortiz. Trying to cut the ring in half. Good tag team strategy. Full lateral press, only your two. Angel Ortiz, the funky monkey, is oh, on a roll. Power slam, and it was in time. He's taking too much time here. Maybe a pin would be better. He's in full control. Don't question the motives of Ortiz or what he's doing in that ring. Cutting the ring in half, drags Quinn over to the corner. In comes the marksman. That nasty assassin, that technique, that speed, that skill of Mike Drastic you see how coming into play. He is? Hey, when Mike Drastic smells blood in the water, he goes right after it. And Mark Quinn right now is bleeding. Metaphorically, of course. He's hurt, he's tired, needs to make the tag. But I don't think he's gonna be able to. Not with my drastic all over him. Look at this. I want you to watch very closely. Excellently executed. What a suplex. And nope, oh, only two. Anyway, up right now, the hottest commodity, not just in the Northeast, they've traveled into Canada, they've traveled down south, they've been all over the country competing and winning championships. And it is no different here at House of Glory. They are the world tag team champions here at House of Glory. <laughs> Ortiz calling a shot like Babe Ruth. And this could end the match. Whoa. What an athletic move by Mark Quinn. One, two. Oh no, only a two count. That could have been it. And that's why they call him Sir Altitude. Mark oh. Quinn can fly like no one else. Oh, Mark Quinn, oh look at that. Found himself to the outside. Oh my God. And Dressy goes down. Real quick there by Quinn. Mark Quinn fighting for his life. He needs to make this tag. He's fighting both members of EYFBO here. Oh, well, maybe one 
Maybe one hurricanrana too Look many. Look at this. Look. The power of the funk man. Oh, well, crowd was counting there for a second. Oh, my God. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Mark Quinn might have taken one risk too many. EYFBO are officially in charge of this match. Right back in control like champions always are. That's what they do when they're showing it. Back in Cassidy to the outside. Smart tag Mike. team work. Cutting the ring in half, getting the partner off of the ring apron. Listen, Mark Quinn's medal has been tested here in House of Glory before. This is the same guy that went one-on-one -on -one with Ricochet in the World Title Tournament. This is the same guy that went to war with Gangone and Janela. Gangone in particular, the no ropes match that we called ourselves over at the Elks Lodge. This kid's tough. Absolutely. I, that, that, that no ropes match was a barn burner. You know, it, it's one of those things that people will be talking about for years, but I want you to watch this display by the Nasty Assassin. Vertical Fans counting along. That's right. All that blood rushing to Mark Queen's head. You know, he's looking tired. In comes the tag. Here we go. Makes sense. Here we, we go. Tag. And the switch. Into the... They're still in the vertical suplex position. Everything is rushing to Mark Queen's head. Check him, ref. He might be asleep. Do the whole arm thing. Would you consider this a submission by now? Absolutely. Oh, into a suplex. And what tag team work by the champs. Got to give them credit. Damn right you do. There Ortiz comes Cassidy. Saying, Show me. Cassidy think, breaking up that count. I think Cassidy knew that his partner was in danger. He didn't even wait for the ref to go for a one or a two. He came in immediately. And that's smart. You don't want to take the chance. You don't want to take the chance. Yeah, still, sure, Quinn might have kicked out. Still, you don't want to get disqualified in this kind of match. I mean, look, the champions can risk it. They didn't get disqualified. They can keep the championship. Quinn well, and Cassidy cannot. Well, listen, we're at the purge. So far, the referees have done a great job here tonight. Oh, let's look at this into a wheelbarrow. Oh, and oh, and a takedown. Quinn fought his way out of that. And now can we see the tag? I mean, this is the best position Quinn has been in the entire match. Here comes the tag. And I, oh, here comes Cassidy again. I say Cassidy, clothesline galore. Everyone's going down to the young man. That's right, nobody passes the velvet rope unless you got an invitation to the private party. Oh, what a hurricanrana. Or a freaking side, I guess, left in that positioning. Look at this. Oh, it's a DDT. But do, will they capitalize? There goes a fly. Oh! Geronimo! Over the top row! Private party and EYF Field putting on a showcase here tonight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Don't blink. You might miss something. Quinn on the outside with Ortiz. Well, Cassidy taking it to drastic. I did not expect this young team to have control over EYFBO like this. Wait, hold on. Quinn's allowing the kids to hit Ortiz. Get those kids away from him. Unless Ortiz is allowed to hit him back. Which he's not. Well, why not? Those kids need some disciplinary action. Well, I'll actually agree with you on this. Those kids need to be back away from that rail. This match can get crazy. You saw what happened with all that candy in the last match. Oh. Oh! Cassidy goes over the railing. They've got Quinn all to themselves. Quinn and Ortiz clashing on the outside. Hard landing for both men. And Quinn's, Quinn's clutching that knee. That knee hit right on the wood floor. When you when you hit these high risk maneuvers, you know it's just that it's high risk, not just to your opponent, but also to you. Referee helping Mark Quinn up. He may have to stop the match. He stops that match. That stops the chances of private party walking out of here with gold. I don't think Mark Quinn's gonna let that happen, but man, he could seriously be hurt.
He's back down. Cassidy checking on Quinn. Quinn saying, let's fight. Let's go. Let's keep going. They have to get one of those members of EYFBO into the ring. That's the only way championships will change hands. Well, Taster's choice here, Jurassic or Ortiz, more than willing to fight, I'm sure. But now they finally got the two-on-one advantage. Irish whip. Oh, wait, whoa, Jurassic, oh. Uh oh, wait a minute. Combination here, oh. Quinn, oh, there comes Ortiz back into the ring. Whoa. It's a ball! It's a with DDT! And then a cannonball to the outside! What an exchange! Come on, man! Come on! You can do it! Oh, no! Only two! Only two! That is insanity! That is, this match has been insanity! This room right now is both on his feet and in a hush. Isaiah Cassidy had the opportunity to pin Angel Ortiz, one half of the Tag Team Champions. Private Party was milliseconds away from capturing gold. People were wondering, why now? Is it too soon? Guess what, folks? This team has arrived. They're taking the Tag Team Champs to the limit right now. They were ahead. They were a hair away from winning tag team gold. Ortiz now in control. Cassidy trying to find his way back. Cassidy, Whoa. second rope. No, here comes Ortiz. Kicks away the arm. European. Okay. Hard shot. Forearm there by Cassidy. Oh. oh. Variation of the cutter. One, this could be it. Two. Come on. Um, Mike Jurassic with the save, would that have been it? Would that have been it? That very well could have been if it wasn't for Jurassic. This is awesome. This, this is indeed awesome. This match is insane. This is awesome. And there we go upstairs. Mike Quinn has been known to get up there before. 6.30, no, Swanton. His partner hit one of those earlier. It looked like he FBI was looking out. And they've done their homework. Cassidy from the corner. Oh, wait. The marksman ready in position. Oh! What was that? That's why they call him the nasty assassin, Orsini. Oh, power slam with authority. Isaiah Cassidy just got drilled. And Norm Mark Quinn fight trying to defend his brother. Oh, no. Count up. Oh! What a move there. Quinn might be missing teeth. Oh, we've seen this before. We've seen this before. Here it comes. That oh, Will Barrow Cutter. Tag team specialist. The smoothest tag team in the business. Oh, oh. And oh, I believe they him. Oh. Straight from the Waffle House. Oh. Here comes EYFBO oh. now. Oh, and a cannonball. And Mark Quinn is hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, got him in the variation. Oh, oh into the, oh my God, into the Emerald Fusion, I believe. One, two. Oh my. Cassidy somehow throwing all of himself into Ortiz, landing on top of the cover. That could have been a pinfall. Matt, much like earlier, it's much like the tag team match from earlier, you gotta wonder how many bullets are left in this chamber. How many more moves? How much more can they possibly do to each other? I don't know, but when you talk about bullets in the chamber, in the middle of that ring is the nasty assassin. And he comes well equipped. Funky monkey. This fan is so, these fans are so appreciative of what's happening here today. As well they should be. This is a great matchup. It's for the World Tag Team titles. Someone's walking out of here with gold, and it's only a shame someone has to lose this match. But someone will. <laughs> All right, uh, private party on opposite corners, and it's not looking good for either member. Double superplex, it looks like. Nope. Oh, and Cassidy shoves them off. Cassidy. He's on the top, Mark Quinn's on the top. Norcini? Four fifth, oh! Quinn with the miss, however. 
You know, oh, oh, wait, we've seen this before. Looks like he might be setting him up for murder, death, kill. Maybe that car driver. Oh. There is so much. Through. There's so much going on, Orsini. I can't keep track of it all. Oh. Oh. Into that jaw jacket. Now Ortiz is going to pick him up. Deadlift. Straight strength by Ortiz. Someone's been hitting the gym. All four men are down, and this audience loves it. House of Glory fans are you not entertained? Perfect time to let everyone know if you want to be here, if you want to experience this live, houseofgloryonline.com, get your ticket. What was that? December 11th? December 11th. December 11th. You need to be here December 11th. Wait, wait, what's happening? Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. There's some masked men in the ring right now. I have no idea. They didn't. They're here from the purge. And, oh, wait a minute. It's one of your favorite tag teams. Yeah, but they just interrupted one of my favorite matches. But I said it, Orsini. Private Party got this tag team championship shot without earning it, and many tag teams were not pleased. Oh. Here goes Red Bray Lewis. He's, he's going to be a man down. His tag team partner still on crutches, but that's not going to stop him from fighting. And he catches a boot from Chris Seaton. Chris Seaton and Smooth Blackman, collectively known as the New York Wrecking Crew and two-thirds of the trust. That's right. Led by their manager, Matthew Ryan Shapiro. Yeah, but now look, nights. here comes the Falcon Corps. Joe Quick, of course, won the Memorial Battle Royal for Vinny the Voice. All these tag teams right now are just fighting it out. They've all got grudges against each other. We know how far these two teams have gotten. Falcon Corps and New York Wrecking Crew have also had quite the feud in the past. Oh, wait, wait here comes... Romeo Romano now. Yeah. Deacon Sentis is back out here again. Hide the candy. As long as we come to the referees. Hey! Hey, wait Everybody, a minute. I think I found Toasty Tom. Is that Toasty Tom? He's getting involved now. Hey, I think everyone's just trying to break up. Everyone's just trying to break up the situation. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. well, you know what? Bottom line, EYFBO is still the tag champs. They're still the tag, you guys are still the tag champs. I need water. Oh, thank you. But the outside is still. Ready for the private party? Quinn to the outside. So to the outside takes the whole crowd out. Cassidy calling for one more time. Wait, Cassidy is ready to fly now. What's Cassidy gonna do now? We've already seen him go over that top rope oh, a few times already. This kid's got no fear. Oh, wait. Wait, he's going What's to the thinking? What is he thinking? Oh, wait, is, is Cassidy gonna fly? Orsini, it's a private party, and everyone's invited! <laughs> well, they just got the invite! You're the champs! You guys just came right in, I guess. Watch out! Wait, hold on! There's a private party here. Wait, they've got your belt. Wait, they took the strap! They just took the straps. Wait, is this about to continue? Uh, I don't think this is going to be a wrestling match anymore. I think this is about a, this is going to turn into a fight now. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. This was a magical match, it was. You hear the fans. They're saying keep it going. They want it. I want it. Or see, are you ready for round two? I don't think I got the air in me for round two. But yeah, if, they, if the fans want it, let's do it. Ah, the referee says no. Not sure if this was a no contest or a straight up disqualification. 
Respect being shown by private party. The audience wants them to ring the bell. If you had any questions in your mind about the team of private party, those questions were answered here tonight. They are for real. Absolutely. They made a believer out of me. Mark Quinn, Isaiah Cassidy, two of the best. And they stepped in the ring with the best. EYFBO, Mike Drastic, and Angel Ortiz. And I know we're gonna see more in the future. December 11th, baby!